I, last night I watched for the first time The Big Country, the 1958 epic Western drama starring Gregory Peck, Charlton Heston, Gene Simmons and Burl Ives. The story of uh, Jim Mackay, a former sea captain who travels to the Old West for marriage and also to join the ranch of uh, his, his bride's father, Major um, Terrell. But Terrell is, is uh, admired in a bitter dispute with another nearby family, the Hanases, over the use of a piece of neutral land uh, known as Big Muddy, where uh, cattle from both herds is able to take water during harsh times. The Terrells and the Hanases are bitter rivals as a result, and Mackay finds himself caught in the middle whilst also gradually falling out of love with his fiancée and falling for the owner of Big Muddy, the young schoolteacher who inherited it from her grandfather. It's an epic story, the film runs almost three hours, and my feelings on it were rather mixed. Um, it's clearly far too long. There are numerous scenes that could be cut down or removed altogether. There's a fist fight between Peck and um, head ranch hand uh, Charlton Heston that goes on for far too long. There are scenes of people riding horses or uh, pet camping out in the wilderness that could be removed altogether and add nothing to the story and seeming are only there just to fill out the running time to an epic length or demonstrate the epic scale of the picture being made at a time when cinema scope movies were trying to lure people away from their televisions. But towards the end, it really gains energy and uh, complexity that I had been missing from the rest of the movie. The Hanases are previously characterised as being animals living in hovels in, the, in a valley, but are filled out, and uh, Burl Ives, as the leader of the clan, is given a great deal more personality and a great deal more depth than I had been expecting. Peck's character as well is interesting. One wouldn't normally expect a character like that to be a gunfighter, but he says early on that he hasn't touched a gun in ten years after his father was killed in a pointless duel. And in fact, he only fires a gun once in the entire film and then deliberately shoots into the ground. Um, there are some failures of the production. There are some odd lapses in logic towards the end where, um, for example, um, when um, Terrell is heading off for a, a final confrontation with the Hanases, initially his men refuse to go with him including Heston, before Heston changes his mind and rides with the man who raised him, and then the entire crowd of cowboys go with him in any way, and then contribute nothing to the rest of the movie in the first place. Um, as well as this, uh, it's notable that Gene Simmons, who plays the school teacher, is billed second after uh, Peck, which made me assume right from the start that the two would end up together at the end of the movie, and in fact the other character, played by Carol Baker, is dropped about three quarters of the way through the film and doesn't reappear. The abrupt ending as well felt like there was material missing. Um, there could be another 10 minutes just to round off the end of the story. What happens to the rest of the characters? How are these clans going to recover from the end of their conflict? And it could easily have been achieved by cutting down some of the unnecessary fat earlier on in the movie. But overall, it was a surprisingly engaging film. I, I, I was glad that I stuck it out to the end. Um, there are some interesting characters. There are strong performances. Heston taking a supporting role for a change was interesting and tough. Peck was, as usual, stand-up self. And Burl Ives, who won an Oscar for playing Pa Hennessy, was a much more interesting and engaging character than I'd expected. Not the rough-hewn mountain man, but someone who respected uh, a gentleman and uh, demands that even his rougher children, uh, including the despicable buck behave with decorum around a lady um so it's a mixed bag but for those who are interested in golden age cinema or westerns it's certainly one that you would want to track down for others like me who are less keen on that era of era of history it may be worth a look nevertheless